How you doing everyone? Once again, I'm Trey. This video is covering our solar generator by EcoFlow. This is the Delta model. It's 1260 watts, uh, almost 1300. It is, it's, it's a very, very good product. Uh, we have buddies with other name brand products. Uh, they get they got to take a lot more to keep it charged and they got to have a lot more time to charge it from nearly dead we usually use the USB ports until it's uh, rinse time for the kids and us and or our dishes our fridge has yet to die on us while we're out on a weekend trip or an overland trip and it has no problem charging that the water pump does take some serious volts but it's not on for very long and we don't run it for a very long time uh, we do allow everything to cool down between the EcoFlow Delta solar power generator during the freeze of 2021 here in Texas, EcoFlow made a huge, huge announcement that they would be giving away their Texas inventory of the nearly 1300 watt lithium powered portable solar generator, the EcoFlow Delta. We saw it on Instagram. And they asked for followers to send in their stories. We sent in our story and a few pictures of our conditions in the freeze down here in South Texas where it's very, very alien to us to have that type of weather for such a prolonged time. Leaving politics out of it, we are glad that Texas came together and took care of it. to know that there are companies out there, even upstart companies, that have a heart. EcoFlow was there for Texas. On to the review. EcoFlow did send us this portable solar generator at no cost to us, not even shipping. It was out of the kindness of their hearts that they were helping the people of Texas and we were one of the lucky recipients. We've had this model for months now and wanted to test its reliability, not only its capability. The Delta has yet to fail for us. One unique feature from the Delta is an under two hour full charging time. Zero to 80% in one hour. It's sturdy, weighs up under 65 pounds. Bruh. One hand. And it's fairly easy to turn on, as you saw. We have the on button. And each side has its own power button. So this powers the Delta on. And to use this interface, you need to power it on here. You can plug in, but if, it's, if this button is not lit, these do not give power. Their interface is very clear when you have it plugged into the wall or another solar panel or into your vehicle the input will tell you how much is going in. When you are utilizing either the USB ports or your inverter side with the six ports and or cigarette lighter style charging, uh, powering. It will show on the interface. And we try not to let it get under 25% before we charge it. It's about a hand and a half high, about two hands wide. We have our solar panel connector, our wall outlet, connector and a reset button 
you will hear the fans kick on if enough juice is going in powering the unit and or being taken from the unit. This side is now ready for use. Weaker land, weekender landing. It's more than enough. It's much more than enough. It powers our portable refrigerator. It powers our radios. And it even sh powers our shower system. Let's see how it works. Let's test how much charging both sets of radios takes from the Delta. We are not sponsored by any company, but we try to use good products. And they're both fully charged. <laughs> On to the next. How's it feel? These first two are USB-A. The second two are USB fast charge. And it does have two USB-C style chargers. Next, we'll plug in our fridge and show you the draw and show you that our fridge is charging. It's plugged in and now you see it says car because it's the cigarette style charger and it's pulling between 60 and 70, 75, 65 and 75 wattage output wattage it does tell us we have 15 hours once it settles and the compressor kicks off the number might rise while the compressor is on it is going to fluctuate uh, between lower numbers and moderate numbers we have used our single cup pod coffee maker and uh, eagle flow does very well back to zero and now, the more difficult challenge. We do carry a fan with us. Plug in our extension cord. First, I'll just let you hear the noise. And you can see it does draw over 300 watts at a time. No problem for the EcoFlow. There we go. Just needed to prime the pump. And that's some pretty darn good water pressure. Extension cord, plug in our fan. And this draws 45 watts. We'll leave the fan running. We'll connect the fridge. And we'll give it a good run for its money by connecting the water pump. You can see the changes on the length of time that it guesstimates to give you before it runs out of power. This is your wall charger. It's got a one-way insert and a three-prong plug. Let's see how much one 200 watt solar panel that can get a good direction to the sun can give us on our input side. Come check it out. We would get a cloud as soon as we try to do this. Give me a few minutes and I'll show you exactly how much it, the sun helps power this EcoFlow with one 200 watt solid monocrystallite solar panel. Right now it's pulling in 40-ish watts out of this type of sky. 
So although this might not be the best example, it does show you it easily takes in power. So what are my parting thoughts on this? We should have got one a long time ago. If you're looking for a reliable, portable, and efficient solar power generator, or just power generator electrically by a lithium battery, EcoFlow makes a great product. They have recently finished a Kickstarter and raised an amazing amount of money for their EcoFlow Max, which has attachments that can power, power your electric car. If you have a power outage in your house, this can help run your appliances. It can keep your food cold in your refrigerator. It can give you time. It can give you a little peace of mind with uh, a couple of solar panels connected together. You should be able to power your appliances indefinitely during a power outage. I would check local specifications given by EcoFlow as to how to uh, connect their solar panels and or other solar panels, uh, connections, connectors, pre-made, maybe they have some on their website, which I'm pretty sure they do. I would go on to ecoflow.com and review yourself the specifications they have there. But for our family, it does just what we need. No more, no less. We are appreciative to get it to EcoFlow and I believe we've still given an honest review. Uh, some disadvantages over the we, we've used it heavily here the last six to eight months and we have noticed the battery capacity has gone down just a smidge. Uh, at one point it would power that fridge for two days. Now it'll power it for almost two days. Other than that, uh, I don't know how they can make it any more light, but at its weight, it's still very portable. My wife can uh, pick it up and, and move it on her own. And she's all of 115, 120 pounds. It's a good unit. It's a great product. Uh, we enjoy taking it with us, uh, answering questions about it. So we don't only use it for overlanding, but we use it in the house too. It did help us in our time of need. Uh, we are grateful to EcoFlow for sending us this model and having been chosen as one of the fortunate Texans to receive one. And honestly, our, my wife and I had been in conversation and had pretty much made the decision to buy a Delta model even before they sent one. I was already following their page. I have been following on YouTube those uh, who receive these products to review who are professional solar panel or nearly professional solar panel uh, reviewers and uh, solar generator reviewers. So a big shout out to Hobo Tech. I'm Professor Hobo and welcome to another Hobo Techno's product review. So what sports an amazing hour and a half recharge time from AC wall outlet, has an amazing 1800 watt pure side inverter and claims it can actually charge a Tesla car? The EcoFlow Delta 1300, of course. Uh, that's one of our favorites. And their review of the Delta had swayed us away from other major brands, uh, although it was still in its Kickstarter program uh, when I watched that video. So we are, we are ever grateful. And should we ever need to replace it, more than sure we'll go with EcoFlow again. That's it from Overland Hemisphere. Thanks for sticking with us while we reviewed this EcoFlow Delta solar power generator. Thanks for sticking with me as I reviewed the EcoFlow Delta solar power generator, 1260 watts, 1800 watt converter, I believe with an over 3000 peak on that converter. I've seen these uh, models power fish fries, you know, deep fryers, and, uh, and complete the cook. It's very impressive. Uh, if you're in the market, consider EcoFlow. Uh, they are coming up and they are coming up strong. Others are catching up to their technology. We do thank EcoFlow for their good product. We'll see you next time.